Double cutting is cutting out two window tint patterns off of one window. It's one of the best things that you can do to speed up your overall time. I like to use 36 inch rolls on most cars, saves the most amount of film. You can also do this with 20 or 24 inch rolls, whatever size you have available for the car. Uh, if you use a 20 inch roll, you could definitely use the factory edge of the tint at the bottom. Since we're using a 36, I have to cut off the bottom, flip the pattern around, and then layer it on top of the top piece. Then we're gonna spray down the film, tack it together. That way the patterns don't shift when I'm cutting out all my film. Start with cutting out the bottom edge because again, it's bulked up at the bottom. Peel away my extra. And from here, it's really just cutting out patterns. The hardest part about this is the fact that you have two pieces of tint stuck together, which makes it twice as thick. That part can throw people off by a lot, but with a little bit of practice, you definitely can get it. Once we cut off uh, the back section of this film, tear off the extra, shift the film back, and we've essentially created uh, like eighth inch overlap on both the front and the back side, and then we're gonna pull the film straight down about a half inch, tack it to the window, roll it down, cut off the top edge, and we'll get into some closer detail on the uh, rear window. Peel away the extra, and then go through, cut all your corners, straighten out all your edges, just a little cleanup work, and boom, just like that. You have two window tint patterns, saving you a ton of time. So spray down the window, again, 36 inch roll over the top of it. Cut off my bulk piece split it in half, bottom piece gets flipped around, layered on top, tacked together. Check your uh, bottom edge there, pinch it in, find where that seal is, put out just a little bit of blade, cut all the way across. Same thing for the side edge. I like to pinch the film in about a half inch down from the top. Just get as, as much as I can, but I don't wanna crunch the film. Shift my film over, cut the back edge. Much smaller on this door than the uh, driver's or the front door. Shift it down about a half inch. So again, we have about a eighth to a quarter inch overlap on both sides, about a half inch at the bottom. Roll down my window, top edge. I put out about three clicks for this, hold it at an angle, go straight across. And this back window has kind of like a, a notched uh, rear section. So then I'll get to that corner and then go up and meet right in the middle. So if you're really skilled, you can just round out that corner. This is just a simple way so I can always ensure that I don't have problems around that little beveled corner. Cut out all the corners, round off, and straighten all my edges. And there you go. Another set of double cut patterns saving me a ton of time.